In this problem, we're being asked to solve for x. When we solve for x, we want x alone on one side of the equal side. Could be this side, could be this side, either way works. And then some other, usually a number, on the other side. How are we going to do that here? We have 33 equals 9x. Well, you should think of 9x as 9 times x. And I'm going to rewrite this equation so it looks like that. So 33 equals 9 times x. The rule with algebra is that we can do pretty much anything we want to any side of this equation as long as we do it to the other side as well. And what I want to do to get x alone is undo whatever is being done to it. Right now, what's being done to x is it's being multiplied by 9. So I want to do the opposite of multiplying by 9. And what's the opposite of multiplying by 9? It's dividing by 9. If I do that to this side of the equation, I have to do it to this side of the equation. So we've got 33 divided by 9 equals 9x divided by 9. On this side, the 9s cancel. This would be a 1 times x, or just x. And that's exactly what we want. We've got the situation where x is alone on one side of the equation. And over here, we've got 33 divided by 9. I think I can simplify that fraction a little bit. Uh, they're both divisible by 3. 33 divided by 3 is 11. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this is 11 over 3 equals x. And it would be just the same to write that as x equals 11 over 3. It doesn't matter which direction you write stuff on the side of an equal sign. So our answer here is x equals 11 thirds.